Hi there, everybody. Welcome to another Geek Speak. I am Brian, aka the Library Geek, and today I'm here to tell you all about the amazing museum passes that we have available here at the library. So I'm going to show you how to find them in the catalog so you can see what we currently have at any given time, and I'm going to show you how to check their availability, their status, whether or not they're here for you to check out or if you'll have to wait a little bit. Um, these passes are provided to our patrons uh, via the kindness and generosity of the friends of the Horsham Library. We thank Thank them so much for purchasing these passes. They're so amazing, and they give families such a great opportunity to see some of the amazing things that are out there in the county and the state. Um, they're absolutely magnificent. So, what have I done so far? I have opened up a browser. I use Firefox. You can use Chrome, Safari, whatever you would like. Um, and I navigated to the Horsham Library website, my favorite website on the internet, horshamlibrary.org. And no, I am not biased about that. Now, in the top right-hand corner of the library website, we have a box that says search the catalog. If you're watching this on mobile, that box is right up at the top in the middle. Sometimes it doesn't work completely. So my workaround is just go to my account, click that link, and that'll jump you into the catalog in a different way. But I'm on a desktop, so I'm gonna do this as if we're on desktop. I'm gonna type in museum pass. I don't put museum pass says, the ES in the end, I just put museum pass because in the catalog they're listed individually. So museum pass and then you hit enter or you hit search. That's gonna jump you into a new screen. Like I said, on mobile, sometimes it gets kind of caught up and doesn't load anything. I don't know why. So if you do that, my account shortcut, that'll get you there. So you're gonna notice that there are 59 listings. Now, unfortunately, we currently don't have 59 museum passes. So we need to limit our search options so that we're just seeing what's available here at Horsham. And to limit our search options, we're actually going to use this box on the left-hand side of the page. This is a really powerful box. It's called Narrow Your Search. And what this does is this lets you, like it says, narrow your search results to just what you're looking for. We're going to scroll down a little while. And there's a section called Assigned Branch. And so that means which library owns the items that you're looking at. And we want Horsham, so we're going to click More. We're going to scroll down, and there's Horsham Township Library. So I click on Horsham Township Library, and our list limits down to the six options that we have here at the library. And those options are the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University, the Elmwood Park Zoo, the Bucks County Children's Museum, the National Constitution Center, the John James Audubon Center at Mill Grove, and Mütter Museum. All fantastic places to visit. I highly suggest each one. So there are some notes with these museum passes. So you see you want to go to Elmwood Park Zoo. That's fantastic. Now, before you head over to the library to check this pass out, there's some things you should know. These passes can be checked out with a valid Montgomery County library card. So only a Montgomery County library card can check these passes out. It has to be an adult library card, and there can be no fines on the account. You get to check the pass out for three days only. So this is fairly unique. Everything else is pretty much three weeks. These are only three days. Um, and you can only check out one pass per family slash household, and they have no holds and no renewals. So unfortunately, though the button for placing a request is here, you can actually request these items from us in the catalog. These passes are checked out on a first come, first serve basis. Um, you're more than welcome to give us a call and our staff will be more than happy to check whether or not we have them in, but we cannot guarantee that the pass will still be available between the point of your call and your arrival at the library. So once you call us and we say, yeah, it's totally here, come on by, do come on by to check that pass out because unfortunately we cannot put it aside for you. Um, no exceptions to that rule. So if you want to see whether or not the pass is in without calling us, what you can do is I'm going to go down to the Bucks County Children's Museum actually, and I click where is it? Now, this is going to list every single library that has these passes. I can't speak to the rules about checking out passes at other libraries. I can only speak to the rules here. So if you scroll down, You'll see that we actually have two passes to the Bucks County Children's Museum, and it mentions that it's Montco residents only. And if you scroll over, you will notice they are both in. So that means you could come to the library between looking at this and come to the library, and hopefully they'll still be here. If someone beats here for them, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. Now, I know for a fact, if I do where is it for the Elmwood Park Zoo, and I scroll down to Horsham's listing, 
These are both out as of right now, and they're due back on the 4th and the 5th of this month. Now, there's one other thing I always like to note, and just because something is due on the 4th or the 5th, unfortunately, my staff and I do not know when they will come back in that day. So you can come here at 10 a.m. on the 5th and hope that it's here, but there's no guarantee that the other person will bring it back here. We do also ask that you return the museum passes to the front desk of the library. Don't put them in the drop bin at the back of the library. Just return them to the front desk and that helps us to get them back out there so that more people can enjoy these amazing places. That's pretty much it. It's a relatively simple process, I hope. Um, you would just go from our website, type in Museum Pass, use the limiting tools on the left-hand side to limit it to Horsham Township Library, and you've got your full listing. Um, thanks again to the friends of the Horsham Library for purchasing these. Down in the description, I'm going to put a link to their new website. It's absolutely gorgeous. You should definitely take a look at that if you're interested at all. They do a ton of amazing work here in the library. We love them very much. I will also put my phone number and my email address. If you have any questions about anything, whether it's in this video or other stuff, feel free to shoot me an email, and I'll do my best to answer it as soon as I can. That's all I got for you for this one today, everybody. So thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.